Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Okay, this is the or the last topic that we are discussing from the unit second. Okay, that is the crypt arithmetic problem in the artificial intelligence. Now, up till now, we have discussed the different ways of solving the problem, and currently in this unit, we are discussing about. the constant satisfaction approach to solve the problem now in the constant satisfaction related with the constant satisfaction approach already we have seen the and we have solved different problem like we have solved the n queens problem we have solved then we have seen the example related with the sudoku and also we have solved the map coloring graph coloring problem also that has uh, that comes in the category of the constraint satisfaction problems now these all the problems are called as a constraint satisfaction problem why this is so that is my question the problem that we have solved like the n queen sudoku map coloring graph coloring why these problems are called as a constraint satisfaction problems that is my question yes why these problems are called as a constant satisfaction problem do you got the question yes yes all of you listening all of you got the question what i am asking why these problems are called as a constant satisfaction problems like we have seen the n queen sudoku map, map coloring or the graph coloring why these problems are called as a constant satisfaction problem yes hmm speak up um every some every that uh, solution have um, some rules to play. that games have some rules means in order to solve that particular kind of problem certain kind of constraints or the rules has to be get satisfied understood and that is the reason these all the problems are called as what the constraint satisfaction problem in case of the artificial intelligence okay and today we are going to discuss one more problem which is come under the category of constraint satisfaction that is the crypt arithmetic now let me tell you the problems that you have solved in this unit like we have solved the block word puzzle problem then the n queens problem graph coloring problem uh then water jet problems okay now this uh, for your kind information question on this kind of topics are also being asked in the competitive exams for your kind information and competitive exam plus when you go for your campus interview in the aptitude exams also the question related with the crypt arithmetic is being asked specifically in case of the infosys in case of the infosys company the question on crypt arithmetic always being asked okay as well as on the water jet problem etc so you just no not uh, need to study this for your uh, academic purpose to pass some exam but for your uh, campus placement purpose also you need to focus on this kind of problems and that is the reason i have given you the uh, such kind of problems on the group also so that you can practice it okay now let's see uh, what exactly this crypt arithmetic problem 
and how we can solve such kind of problems now as i said this is also one of one of the type of constraint satisfaction problem crypt arithmetic is also one of the kind of crypt arithmetic problem just like the n queens or the map coloring graph coloring or the sudoku okay and uh, why then it is being referred as the crypt arithmetic that is the point okay why this is being referred as a crypt arithmetic and what exactly it is now it is being referred as the crypt arithmetic because it is related with the encryption and the decryption for your kind information it is related with what encryption and the decryption now what do you mean by the encryption and the decryption yes what do you mean by the encryption and the decryption now you are in the final year of the computer engineering you must know about what exactly mean by the encryption and the decryption yes yes anybody know about what do you mean by the encryption and the decryption what is mean by the cryptography have you heard this word before yes nobody know about the what do you mean by the encryption and the decryption encryption format ko unreadable format mein convert karna that is the uh, hide karne ke liye use karte sir hum uske liye uh, pattern wagera matlab use karte jisse pata na chale password wagera decryption decryption uh, uh, non readable format ko readable format mein convert karna so that is the uh, point of the encryption and the decryption very good okay and that particular uh, study of the encrypting technique and the decrypting technique is called as the cryptography okay now so here what we are going to do okay what exactly this crypt arithmetic problem in case of the artificial intelligence first we understand that okay now here i have written the crypt arithmetic problem in artificial intelligence the type of the encryption problem in which the return message in the alphabetical form this is the very important statement our solving of the problem is depends on this what it is a type of the encryption problem in which the return message in the alphabetical form which is easily readable and understandable is converted into the another form that another form is nothing but here numeric form that another form is nothing but what numeric form which is neither easily readable nor easily understandable understandable means what suppose there is a one sender there is a one sender want to send some message to the his friend as a receiver okay and what is the aim behind this cryptography or doing the encryption and decryption now there is a confidential message that sender want to send to the receiver now sender will encrypt that message in a such a way that encrypt in the sense it will encode that message in such a way that it will be readable only by this receiver it can be decrypt it can be decrypt by the, whom only receiver only why this has to be need to be done why it, why it is required yes why this encryption and decryption is required what is the need of these yes more security ruin. purpose for the purpose of security why because when this message is getting transferred from the sender to the receiver if if it, if that message is found by somebody else and if that message is not encrypted then somebody else can read that confidential message yes or no yes sir so that is the need of encryption and the decryption encryption is nothing but what encoding that message in a such a way that it can be understood by whom only receiver only receiver and if it is encoded by the sender now how to decrypt that how to decode that it should be known by only whom receiver only you got the point yes sir so that is nothing but the concept of encryption and the 
decryption here how we are going to encrypt and the decrypt in case of this crypt arithmetic problem you can see here how what we are going to do here you can see it's a type of increase problem in which the return message in the alphabetical form which is readable and understandable that readable message in the alphabetical form we are going to convert into the numeric form which is neither easily readable neither easily understandable except the receiver yes or no except the yes. receiver it should be understood by whom or it should be decoded by whom only receiver only receiver the point? yes sir so in another words i have written here the crypt arithmetic problem deals with the converting of messages from readable plain text you must be aware of this word plain text the crypt arithmetic problem deals with the converting the message from the readable that is the plain text to the non readable that is the cipher text so message which is encoded by the sender is called okay the message which is being encoded by the sender and message which will be decoded by the receiver so message which is encoded by the sender that becomes cipher text and when receiver decode it it become the plain text plain text in the sense there is a no encoding is done yes or no understood the meaning of plain text readable yes. form and cipher text means was unreadable form got the point so in order to make the particular plain in order to convert the particular plain text into the cipher text there is a need of what encryption got the point yes yes sir yes sir now let's see how this conversion is to be get done in crypt arithmetic problem in case of the artificial intelligence and how the how, what is actually the relation of constraint satisfaction approach there that we have to study here okay uh, before that you need to understand all this part okay that's why i explain you uh, what exactly mean by the crypt arithmetic and what do you mean by the encryption what do you mean by the decryption etc etc all of you understood these terms encryption decryption crypt arithmetic etc etc yes sir okay now as i said crypt arithmetic is the one of the type of constraint satisfaction problem or it is come under the category of constraint satisfaction problem means in order to solve this particular problem that is the crypt arithmetic problem or in order to deal with this crypt arithmetic problem there are some rules or the constraints are there what is there there are some rules or the constraints are there if you want to solve the crypt arithmetic problem it can be only solved if certain constraint gets satisfied you got the point as we have done same case in case of the enqueens graph coloring map coloring etc etc what if you want to solve the crypt arithmetic problem then there must be a satisfaction of some kind of rules and the constraint then and then only we can solve or we can do this encryption and decryption of the certain things okay or so certain message which is in the form of the alphabetical and that we are going to cut, transform into the some numerical form now what are the rules then what are the rules for the crypt arithmetic rules and the constraint for the crypt arithmetic problem in case of the artificial intelligence so these are all the rules and on these rules only everything is depend you can only solve this particular crypt arithmetic problem if you know all these rules in very good manner so that is the reason today i told you you must carry with your notebook so all you need to do what first you need to write down all these rules all of you are having the notebooks with yourself yes sir so yes, sir. i just dictating these rules and side by side you read it yes sir it and we'll discuss it side by side so here we have the first rule or the constraint related with the crypt arithmetic problem is there should be a unique digit to be replaced for unique alphabet what is these rules you are getting 
and digit should be we can use the digit in order to solve the crypt arithmetic problem only from 0 to 9 only which digits we can use 0 to 9 that is the second rule first rule is what the, there should be a unique digit to be replaced for unique alphabet means what what is the meaning of these rules can anybody tell me what is the meaning of first rule sir it means that no alphabet should be uh, repeated uh, in any any of the digit means a zero should not uh, if we assign zero as a then one cannot be assigned as a we have to assign one as b or something else yes suppose if you are assigning one to the a this is the a if you are assigning the one to the a now this one cannot be assigned to the any other alphabet yes or no you are yes, getting sir. if yes, sir. assigning yes, one sir. alphabet a you cannot assign this one to the any other alphabet that is the meaning of this statement you are getting yes sir that is i have written there should be a unique digit to be replaced for unique alphabet understood first two rule yes sir yes sir i hope you are writing also third rule there should be a only one carry forward while performing the addition of operation of the problem what there should be a only one carry forward now i hope all of you are knowing about the carry suppose i write a number like suppose i write number let me get it clear suppose i write the number like this 87 plus 81 what is its addition 718 88 16 One six eight means here one carry is getting generated. Yes. This one which is come as a third position here, it is the carry or not? Yes, sir. Carry. So there should be a only one carry forward. This is the third important rule. If you don't know this rule, you will not. And this question, let me tell you, being asked number of times in the our theory exams and the in same exams, you can see it in the question paper. Okay, and eight and ten marks. Simple question being asked for the eight or ten marks. Okay, next the problem can be solved from the both the side. Means from the left hand side as well as from the right hand side. Right. You just write down these because some of the rule you might not understand here. It will be easily understood when we uh, solve one example. Okay, what is the this rule? There uh, the problem can be solved from the both side. That is from the left hand side or the right hand side. there must be a only one solution to the problem this is the very important what there must be what only one solution to the problem then number must not begin with the zero this is also very important what number must not begin with the zero then if required numerical base can be used as a 10 what if required numerical numerical base can be utilized as a 10 while we are solving this crypt arithmetic problem okay and the last rule the result should satisfy the predefined arithmetic rules what do you mean by this the result should satisfy what predefined arithmetic rules means what in the arithmetic rule we know in the arithmetic rule we know what 4 plus 4 it is going to be how much Eight. Eight. This is the arithmetic rule we know. Understood. The result should satisfy the predefined arithmetic rules. Now you will not understand the meaning of this exactly. Some of you might have understood. Okay, you will understand that in the example. All of you have written these rules. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this we are going to. Yes, sir. The problem. Don't. Uh, don't. Uh, Uh, there should be no need so that we have to come back again to this slide because uh, okay when we are solving the problem if you have not written somebody of write it i give the one minute
रिटर्न यस सर यस सर ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द मेन पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू सॉल्व हियर now let's understand with with example what exactly this script arithmetic problem is now this is the problem we have given understand the problem first what is problem we have given this is the problem we have given what is the problem 2 plus go what 2 plus go it is equal to out what 2 plus go is equal to out now we have to solve this problem now how we should solve it all of you got the problem 2 plus go equal to out now these are all the alphabet yes or no yes okay now here we just uh, okay now to make it uh, slightly simpler let me put the empty boxes here okay and we have to do the addition of these here is our result will come our result will consist of the three boxes now as we have discussed in the rules the alphabet will be replaced by what numbers how we are going to proceed the alphabet will be replaced by the number in such a way that the constraint will get satisfied that constraint or the rules that you have written what we are going to do we have to replace the alphabet by numbers we have to replace the alphabet by numbers how randomly as a replace karun karaycha ek aplyala nahi we have to replace it what with satisfying some constraint getting the point yes sir yes sir so initially we have all the blank spaces that is the all blank spaces i have written here as we are started to solve the problem all the blank spaces okay focus on this part now we start from the left side as i said you can start solving the problem from the left side or you can solve the problem from the right side you have written in that rule correct yes we'll start solving the problem from the left side now you can see on this left side the leftmost symbol is the o correct leftmost symbol is which o o is it like this for example if i write like this 87 plus 81 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 8 how much 16 16 means this is the carry generated here one is generated one is generated as a carry all of you are agree yes yes sir so you have to assume the same yes, situation sir. like same situation here and you have to assume here one carry is compulsory is getting generated here yes or no yes sir and that one carry is getting generated so can we say value of this o is 1 yes sir can we yes, say sir. yes or no yes sir because you can see here where here you are doing the addition of this two alphabet plus two alphabet and you are getting how many alphabet here result three alphabet three alphabet means okay. one extra alphabet is generated here correct Yes, sir. And two extra generated alphabet. When we are doing the addition of numbers to that extra generated number, we are considering it as a carry, correct? Yes. And that is the reason I am saying here this O will have the value as a one, as a carry. Got the point? Yes, sir. So here I have put the value of O. Yes, sir. As a one. Side by side, you must maintain this kind of table so that you can remind which. numericals you have utilized because that numerical should not be get repeated yes or no yes sir so same thing i have read so mm -hmm. same thing i have written here it is the letter which is generated by carrying so 
carry generated can be only one so here we have the value of o as a one understood hmm. so here we have the one correct this box is a one correct yes or no yes sir yes sir so same thing i have written here in the form of the rules this is the very important when we are doing the addition of n letters and result of adding this letters is n plus 1 correct when you are adding the n letters here how many letters you are adding for example two letters we are adding and result of adding this letter is n plus 1 2 plus 1 it is 3 yes or no yes and if the result of adding the letter is n plus 1 letter then result related value is always one as a carry this is the most important rule which will help you to solve this problem any kind of problem got the point mm, yes sir yes clear yes sir yes. get the point clear at that stage only okay yes sir now we have found one value let me let me mark these uh, empty boxes here Okay. Okay, you also go on uh, putting these things on your notebook. Okay, don't just sit empty there. Okay, here here we have the three boxes, and we have got the one value of that is O. Here is also O. Yes, here also we have got the one. Here also we have got the one. Got the point? so next step we have have we are have, we are having here next we have t plus g equal to u this is correct and we have the o plus o equal to t now which one is the soluble you have to go for that you are getting my point hmm. so this is the soluble that is yes sir o plus o Equal to t equal because to we already know the one plus one. Uh, sorry, we already know the value yes. of o. No, split. That is <laughs> one and one. So here, here how much will come? Here will come two. Yes. This box one plus one. How much where it will come? Two. Yes or no? Yes. As I written here, we have the o equal to one. So o plus o o that is the one plus one is two. So we have got the value of t as a two here. Understood this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's move forward. Now, next, what is remaining on that you have to focus? That is our step three. Next, we have t plus g equal to u. Now we already know t equal to two. Box, you have mandled the notebook or? Because here every yes, time sir. I have to, when I go to the next page, I have to erase the box. Okay, we have got the most of the values now. We have got uh, O as a one here as a one. Let me take another color. Here we have got the one, one, one. Okay, and this result we have here two. Okay, now what is remaining? T plus G equal to U. We already know the T equal to two. Okay, uh, and we know the value out of this T and G. We know the value of T. So I we have the equation like this: two plus G equal to U. This equation we are having. Okay. Now here we already know. Okay, here we already know. now here you know value of what you know value of 2 here yes or no here we know the value of t is the 2 correct mm. now what we knowing here when you do the addition of this t and g yes when you are doing the addition of these t and g there must be a carry generated here हे समजलं आहे तुम्हाला कारण आपण कॅरी कन्स आपण कॅरी इथं आलेली आहे यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यस 
ओ ची वैल्यू वन आली ना सो वेन यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज द टू प्लस जी इक्वल टू यू यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड एडिशन ऑफ टी एंड जी शुड बी शुड बी सच अ नंबर शुड बी सच अ नंबर विच विल जनरेट द कैरी यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट एडिशन ऑफ टी एंड जी मस्ट बी सच अ नंबर विच विल जनरेट द कैरी ऑल ऑफ यूर एग्री because here we have we have got the carry here so t and g number must be such a number which will which will should generate the carry i hope all of you are getting this point this is the important point yes sir so same thing i have written here now here we know you must be generate the carry that is this addition the value of this u must be 10 or greater than 10 all of you are agree Yes, sir. This u must be ten yes. or greater than ten. Same thing I have written here. Now we know you as a, we have generated the carry. So two plus g must be ten or it must be greater than ten. So this u must be ten or greater than ten because here you can see two plus g equal to u. Means we must add such a number in a two because we have the value of t equal to two. we must add such a number in 2 so that it can generate the carry or we can have addition of that t and g 10 or more than 10 this situation understood okay yes now let's see how we can do this so now here we know you must generate the carry so 2 plus g must be 10 or greater than 10 means we must add such a numbers in 2 so that we can get carry generated or we can have the addition of t and g 10 or more than 10 so we have the first option here now which number you can add to the 2 so that we can get the carry generated tell me nine 9 if you add 2 to, to the 9 how much you are getting 11 Eleven means what is the value of u now? One. One. But u chi value one give us up to kapan? No. No. Kahan hai give us up? Because we also have. Because we also have one. Because we also have one. We have assigned the one for the o. Oh. Yes. Then what is the option remain to you? That is two plus. Yes. Now nine nine you cannot take. Then what is the option? Eight. Eight is the option. Only one eight is the option. Yes. Because what we want, we want the addition of the two numbers as a ten or more than ten. But as we have done the nine, nine is not possible because the if you take the nine value of o, u is coming as a one, but o is already having assigned the uh, we are already assigned the one to the o. So if you do this addition, how much we are getting? Two plus uh, eight, ten. 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 Means two plus eight, ten, and this is the carry generated. Yes. Yes, sir. and what is the value of u then zero zero value of u remain is how much zero. zero and here also we have got the value of g eight, eight. the same thing i have written here eight. we have first option if you consider g as a 9 2 plus g that is the 2 plus 9 is 11 here we will get the u as a 1 But we cannot choose the u as a one, as one is already assigned to the o. The same thing I have mentioned here that we have discussed, and so we have to go to the next option. So we have the second option. If you consider g as a eight, that is the two plus g, and as a two plus eight is a ten. Here we get the u value as a zero, and which can be chosen, and then we have the we have got all the values of these alphabet. Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Now, finally, come to the tally. And tally uh, will uh, give you the idea about the last rule. What is the last rule you have written? What is the last rule? Satisfy predefined arithmetic. The results should be satisfied. Results should predefined satisfy arithmetic the predefined rules. arithmetic rules. Manje kai ki hya doganchi addition. Hmm. One zero two chete. One zero two chayla paye. Okay. Thoras apne kai jale ki apko thoras apn then and then only we can say you have solved the crypt arithmetic problem. successfully yes got the point yes sir yes sir these question always being asked let me tell you in any exam not in the academics it is being asked in the competitive exam as well as in the campus interview also for your kind information any doubt in this because i am going to give you the number other example you have to try it okay Yes. Yes, sir. Now take this example, and you have to solve this example. I have already solved it, but I want to give it to you, and you must try it. This example is always this is the most popular example in case of the crypt arithmetic problem. What example you are having? Write it down in your notebook and solve it. Send plus more equal to money. What send plus more equal to money? Money. Will you try it? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. try yes, it yes, and sir. send me the solution. Okay. So that is from the today's session, and here we have finished our second unit. you have to complete the assignment that we have given in related with the first unit in within a two or three days i will give you the assignment on the second unit also okay yes sir okay sir okay